Welcome to this tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to automatically turn a simple Telegram message into a fully generated video using AI and automation. The best part, no manual editing, no complicated setup, just one message, and the system does the rest. After that, the workflow takes over. It uses an LLM to analyze your message, search for related resources, and generate the right script. From there, it builds a complete video and sends it straight back to your Telegram bot. Let's take a quick look at an example of a final video we've already generated. You roll out of bed, still in pajamas, ready for your first meeting. Your pet demands attention mid-conference call, stealing the show. You're working from the kitchen, multitasking dinner and deadlines. Awesome, right? And notice the final video even comes with background music that fits perfectly. All of this happens through automation. It's smart enough to handle any category or topic you throw at it. And here's the best part. Zero to launch members can do this unlimited and completely free. All right, now let's dive into the workflow itself and see exactly how each part connects to make this possible. First, the Telegram trigger node listens for incoming messages in real time. To make this work, you'll need your Telegram bot credentials connected. That way the system can both send and receive messages, including video files. As soon as the message is received, we pass it to the AI agent node. Here, the Telegram message is used directly as the user prompt. For the LLM, we're using Gemini, which processes the message context. And the best part, it's free to use. Now back in the AI agent node, let's look at the system prompt. Here, Gemini breaks down the request text, understands the intent, and extracts all the key details. Things like the number of scenes, the video style, and the target audience even if you didn't spell them out directly. And if they're missing, we simply apply default values. The AI then outputs a string containing all the video parameters we need. But to make this usable, we first convert that string into proper JSON. For that, we use an edit field node to parse the response. And now you can see, we have clean JSON ready for the next step. Notice how Gemini still understands context. Even if the Telegram message didn't mention the number of scenes, it still inferred the right value and returned the correct video parameters. We also define a final silence setting here, which is 1.5 seconds of silence at the end of the video. Now that we know exactly how many scenes we need, we move on to one of the most important nodes, another AI agent. This node generates the script and keywords for each scene. We pass the video parameters from the previous step into the user prompt and ask it to return the data in a structured JSON format. In the system prompt, we add more detailed requirements. For example, generating a script for each scene, keywords for video search, and even the recommended style of background music. Once again, we use Gemini as the LLM and make sure to toggle require specific output format. To finalize this, we add an output parser node where we define the exact response structure we want. The format includes things like video title, music style, scene scripts, and search keywords for each scene. And as you can see, the AI agent node gives us exactly that format. Now all the video parameters are clean and ready to pass into our video generation API. In this node, we make a post request to the text to short endpoint from the zero to launch API. In the header, we include our zero to launch premium API key. Inside the JSON body, we pass all the data we generated from the last AI agent node. Here we set the important parameters like scene information, voice name from Kokoro, vertical or horizontal format, background music style, caption style, and caption position. Once the API call is made successfully, it returns a video ID. This ID is what we'll use to check the processing status and retrieve the final video. Next, we add a short delay before calling the check video status node. Here we pass the same video ID into the endpoint. And again, make sure your zero to launch API key is in the header. If the API returns a status of ready, that means our final video has been generated successfully. If not, we simply wait a bit and check again until the status changes to ready. To handle this, we use an if node to check the API response. If the status is ready, we move forward to the download video node. At this step, we pass the video ID to the endpoint, retrieve the video URL, and download the file. Currently, the video is hosted on the Zero Two Launch VPS. Keep in mind, it will only be stored there for about an hour. From here, you can either send the video directly back to Telegram or upload it to your own hosting, like Google Drive or AWS S3. In our case, we upload the video to a free hosting service called TMP Files. 
This service has an API that lets us upload the video file directly. The upload API then returns a URL where the file is stored. But to make it downloadable, we need to reformat the link slightly by adding DL into the URL. Once that's done, we confirm the final video URL. You roll out of bed, still in pajamas, ready for your first meeting. Now we tell the HTTP request node to download the link and output it as a proper video file. From there, it's sent back to the Telegram bot automatically. And that's it. We now have a fully functional pipeline that can generate videos in any category, all from a single text message. If you're interested in building this exact workflow yourself and want unlimited access to the API to generate videos like this, make sure to check out Zero to Launch Premium Community. It's where we help members build, launch, and scale automation projects from the ground up, all at no cost. Inside, you'll get access to free and unlimited APIs that would normally cost you thousands for unlimited usage. And when you scale up, they'll save you millions. Plus, we're rolling out an all-in-one AI web app so you can use these AI tools, automation features, and more. Right away, no setup required. For example, we already have all-in-one YouTube tools. We even developed a tool for generating NSFW image content, and we've built the Zero to Launch AI Toolkit, packed with every AI tool and feature you need in one place. If you're ready to level up, join us in Zero to Launch Premium and start turning automation into your competitive advantage.